Here's another great example of a question where if you know the definitions of these words, this is pretty easy. If you don't, well, you're going to have to just pick your favorite letter and move on to things that you probably can solve with whatever time you've got left. It's not worth it to spend two minutes debating words you don't know. So let's look at the passage, see what we can do. As discussed by scholar Anna Whatever, many artworks produced in the mid-1990s to the early 2000s exclusively for exhibition on the internet, such as Sine Kim's Genesis, have become inaccessible because viewing them requires the use of blank software, most notably Adobe Flash, discontinued in 2021. So we're literally looking for a word that just means that. It's no longer, it's discontinued, it's no longer operational. Defunct means that, right? Literally, the word means D is not... And then funk, right? Look at where it kind of comes from. Functional, not functional, defunct. So it's perfect. It's not around anymore. Uh, another way to put that is kind of uh, expired or uh, outdated, something like that would be defunct. Um, so to me, that perfect fit, no debate, I'd be moving on. Uh, but let's talk about the other words that can't hurt to learn their definitions. Arcane is close. Arcane is close. Arcane means something like... Um, Difficult to understand or um, uh, kind of like understood by very few people, understand, um, difficult to understand or understood, um, uh, understood by a few people, something like that. And so you could kind of say maybe that if it is an old thing, then very few people know how to use it. And so maybe it's arcane in that sense. But I, I feel like that's stretching it. And A is a much, much better fit. So, uh, you know, close, ubiquitous uh, means everywhere um, at once. And uh, another good word that kind of fits in that and is also a good SAT word is the word pervasive, pervasive. It's everywhere at once. It's in lots of places. It's very common, very widespread. Uh, so maybe at some point, Adobe Flash was widespread and ubiquitous, but right now it is not. That's the point of the sentence is they can't turn this piece of art on because the, the software is no longer available. And extraneous, very easy to memorize that word. It just means something is extra or uh, non-essential. Um, and so Again, it, it, it seems like that's not what the passage is saying. They're, they're saying it is essential, right? We can't view this art without the software. So maybe it's kind of extraneous for other things on the internet nowadays, but it is not uh, extraneous for this particular task. So again, I would have had no debate. I know all these words because I've experienced them very deeply. But, uh, you know, sometimes when you learn a word just on a flashcard, you don't get that fuller sense. But still, a short definition is better than nothing. So if you really want to have any hope of answering these questions or even some of the hardest reading passage questions, you need to study vocabulary. It's going to take time. It's going to be a lot of tedious work. But it's the only way to get really top scores is to know the definitions of these kinds of words.